yes indeed the same pitch which means that I recorded out in the field around midnight the same animal that the BFRO had in 2006 which is on their website as the Florida Howl. It is very well possible that this is the Florida Bigfoot or the Skunk Ape but there's no doubt in my mind based on the pitch and tone of this animal even though the the report was not the the vocal was not as drawn out as the other one uh, it is the same tone and pitch it has to be the same animal now march 5th through 7th 2010 i went on an expedition central part of florida in the swampy area to try to gain evidence for the bigfoot and uh, i'm very pleased with this how because i'm convinced now more than ever that I am on the right track no matter what my detractors think or no matter what the people who view my videos who would rather I not try to present things as evidence but would rather listen to people when they're anecdotal stories talking about what they thought they might have seen or might, what they might have heard not people who've actually seen something and recorded it or people have heard it and recorded it another thing that is on the BFRO website is the uh, famous uh, reciprocal knocking that you'll hear right now. I, of course, picked that up at night, and it was freezing that night, as you can see by the way that I was dressed here. And I did pick up the, the knocking sound of the trees. It was about 11.30 at night out in the, in, in, in the swampy area where there'd, there'd be no one around. I, I, no one would have followed me out there or th would have thought of to be banging on trees or anything. But I do want you to see this here now. I'm trying to be really brief here because I know I'm losing, going to lose um, audience share, but... When you look at this photo that I took, and it's a clear, clear photo of a skunk ape I saw going through a clearing um, back at Pine Island back in November. And as you, I thought I was on video mode with my old camera, but I was on photo mode. But as you zoom in, detail emerges. You can see the face, you can see the eyes, the deltoids, thick bicep, thick triceps, a forearm, uh, buttocks back, left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg, so forth and so on. Clearly detailed here. Uh, just an, an excellent shot, shot of this thing as it was moving through. And I don't know how anyone could even begin to debunk this. And this is what I mean by, by evidence. Someone actually going out in field and trying to find something, not trying to talk about um, how three years ago um, I was taking a leak out by a campsite and a Bigfoot jumped out behind a tree and, and raised his ass up in the air. Well, okay, you got any proof of that? Well, no, just to take the guy's word on it. Well, no one seems to want to take my word on it, even when I present videos, audios, photos, and things of that nature. Even the, the skunk ape right here that you'll see real quick. And how's that? you know how gorillas crouch, how gorillas turn? And look at this, you see him turn right here. Now, unfortunately, this is all I've got of it. And you want to talk about aggressive actions. Check out this. You'll see in this video how the, um, well, it can speak for itself. You can hear the footsteps over the plane.
scaring the shit out of the birds. It's scaring me too. How can it hide like that? Well, I've got a lot more, but that's really about as far as I need to go with it at this point. And I mean, there are people in the Bigfoot world, and I'm not trying to become political or anything, but when you've got a website like Crypto Mundo run by Lauren Coleman, who to my knowledge has never found anything, um, but he won't take any look, he won't, he won't mention my work. A dedicated field researcher who's been out field 300 out of 365 days, who's actually come up with things. He won't even mention my, he wants to mention the guy that, um, who uh, seven years ago might have seen something or again the guy uh, the, the 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 gorilla that raised raised his ass in the air or or, or something like that or, or the BFRO that wouldn't even accept me as a member and then shut me down by saying it was alumni only even though to my knowledge they've never come up with anything close not even close to to the evidence that I found in my year out in the field uh, I would challenge BFRO to, to put up anything even remotely close to the things that I have found um, as far as evidence goes. Um, they've got videos of women standing out in the field going, woo, woo, isn't that great? Let's do it again. Woo, yeah, yeah, yabba dabba do. Well, get out and find something. And at least if you're not going to, give credit to the people that do. That's about all I got to say about it, and that might be the last thing I've got to say about it.